always easier to get into what you're reading when you can make some personal connections to it. So the three questions that I'm going to present to you are designed to help you do that. You're only required to pick one. However, if you'd like to respond to more than one, you may definitely do that. However, it is not required. So let's look at your options. Option A. In book one, Zeus complains about humans who blame the gods for their own problems. Uh, specifically, when you read, you're going to hear him complaining about Aegisus, who, as you will remember, was the lover of Clemenestra, uh, the unfaithful wife of Agamemnon. So you're going to hear Zeus complaining about Aegisus and say, Ah, oh, Aegisus, we sent you a warning. We, we sent Hermes to you to tell you not to help Clemenestra kill her husband, and you didn't listen, and now you're whining about your life. Stop whining. So you want to watch for that as you're reading book one. Uh, so this option, I ask you to describe a time when you unfairly blamed someone else for your problems. So you don't necessarily have to be blaming God, <laughs> like Aegisus is blaming Zeus, um, but it could just be a time when you try to shift blame on someone else. So that is option A. Remember, you only have to choose one. Option B, in book one, Athena is mad at her father. She's upset because he still hasn't released Odysseus from prison. And she had previously asked Odysseus, or asked Zeus to set Odysseus free to force Calypso to let him go. And Zeus said, yeah, sure. Well, then he never did it. Uh, we all experience this from time to time in our daily lives. So option B asks you to describe a time when someone carried you. Uh, describe a time when somebody told you that they would do something, but then they didn't actually follow through on what they said they would do. So that is option B. Remember, you only have to pick one. And your third and final choice is option C. Athena is the goddess of wisdom for a reason. She's also sort of like Odysseus's guardian angel. She's very good at getting what she wants. So Athena is a clever master manipulator. She knows exactly how to play the game to get what she wants from her father, Zeus. She plays him like a fiddle. Some of you can maybe relate to that. How do you get your parents to give you what you want? Uh, and this doesn't necessarily have to be with your parents. Do you manipulate others? on purpose to get what you want. So you can talk to me a little bit about your experiences with that. So again, you can choose from option A, about blaming someone else, option B, a time when somebody let you down or said they would do something and then didn't, or option C, tell me about how you get yours, how you get what you want. Make sure you give me a good, well-developed response.